deal. I said the better the better Davis can go. Oh. Am I better than the Davis boys?
test, test. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this broadcast of St. Croix Central Panther Athletics. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. It is a cold and wet night here in St. Croix Central Hammond, Wisconsin, where your St. Croix Central Panthers will take on the Spartans of Somerset. The cameras are wet. My computers are wet, but we got the windows open. We're enjoying it just as much as everybody else who's sitting here. And there's the opening kickoff to your Panthers. Trevor Kopaz looks upfield, makes one man miss, finds a little bit of an opening, and then is brought down right at about the 32 yard line. And that's where your Panthers will start their first drive of the night. Panthers playing Somerset in their season, the regular season finale right here in Hammond. They won that game. I'm blanking on the score off the top of my head here, but came away victorious. Rain kind of going off and on right now. Austin Cope has the quarterback, gets under center. He takes the ball, hands it off to Berg. Keegan Berg will go up the field for a gain of about six yards. As you guys are logging onto the stream, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button for the St. Croix Central School District. We always like seeing our subscriptions go up as our sports season and our school year continues. Austin Kopaz will hand it off to Berg again. Berg meets his defender head up right near the first down marker, and I believe that will be a St. Croix Central first down, and they're moving the sticks. If you do have problems with the broadcast, please Please let me know in that comment section right uh, on your screen somewhere. Mine's on my right. I don't really know where yours is. Share out this event on Facebook, Twitter, any other social medias that I did not mention. First and 10 now still in their own territory. The pitch will come out to Berg. Berg stumbles a little bit, and he will lose five yards on the play. <laughs> Thank you. I like that prediction. Oh, that was the uh, score from the previous game, 42-24. Thank you. Thought that was a prediction. Kopaz pitches the ball to Berg. Almost tackled in the backfield again. Berg will move upfield. Gain about 10 yards, we'll say. And he'll be just shy of midfield. That'll be third down and about six after the loss on first down. So third and six. Whistles blow early. Reset, here we go. Kopaz under center. He will take the ball this near side. He will end up pitching it out. Berg will cut up field, gets the first down, and more. Tackle made by number 29 for the Spartans, uh, Jake, uh, Jackson Cook. And another St. Croix Central first down. You know, I think we're going to surpass our season record from last night at 190. We're already at 148 and we're only a couple minutes into this game. Want to give them a call out early. Flagship Fort of Baldwin, Western Wisconsin Health, and I'll get the other ones in a little bit as that handoff. Our pitch goes to the outside and losing yardage again is the Panthers. So Western Wisconsin Health, Flagship Fort of Baldwin, Citizen State Bank, and Marco Septic for your major support of Panther Athletics. Yeah. 
second and 12. Ball on the Somerset 44 yard line. Kopaz pitches it out. Wide open with lots of running room. That's Ryan Larson. Lowers his helmet. Breaks through one tackle. Breaks through another. And he will not be denied the end zone. Ryan Larson. 44 yard touchdown run. And the Panthers get on the game. Get on the board early. He broke. Let's count him here as I'm watching it on the delay. One tackle, two tackle, three, four tackles on that run. Ryan Larson going full on beast mode right there as he saunters into the end zone. Let's get, get here so you can see the field goal attempt. This one from Pettit. I got to turn off the scoreboard. And it is up and it is good. Early points for the Panthers. It is seven and nothing. Thank you to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. We'll be right back in just a little bit. Seven nothing the score. Eight thirty six left in the third first quarter. Wow. Sorry, it's not working out. It's frustrating though. I know. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, that'll be a good game. Yeah, probably more fun to watch as a fan as opposed to sitting. Yeah, you know, <laughs> okay, as we prepare for the Panther kickoff, Ryan Larson, right after that touchdown run, will boot it away and expect this to go into the end zone. And actually, he'll just pop it up, booting him like crazy before. And the Somerset Spartan Drive will start on the 33-yard line. As we switch from offense to defense, let's run through all of our sponsors in Flagship, Florida Baldwin, Citizen State Bank, Western Wisconsin Health, Marco Septic, and then our founding sponsors, Baldwin Lightstream, Burnix Pepsi, Buffalo Wild Wings, Premium Waters Incorporated, and McDonald's Courtesy Corporation. Uh, and then the rest of our sponsors, Williamson and Siler, J.A. Counter, Pheasant Hill Snap, Fitness Squeegee Squad, and McKinstry. Somerset offense, nothing to scoff at. Hey, have a good one. My uh, booth just opened up, Thunder Country. They couldn't get their streaming equipment up and running, so lots of room. And, I mean, I tell you what, he puts in his work right there, timeout on the field. Uh, he puts in his work. There's pages and pages of data stuff that I won't even be able to filter through if I truly wanted to, but wow. So we'll be back in a little bit. Timeout on the field. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, the Spartans hand the ball off up the middle and a good run right there on second down. No, excuse me, on first down. Okay. 
second and two. There's the snap, handoff up the middle, and diving forward for the first down is Jack Peterson. He's the one that they're going to have to watch closely tonight. And we got more whistles as they talk it over, the referees that is. Looks like a first down from here. And they might take a closer look as they are all grouped together. Shout out right now to uh, Andy in Portland watching us live right now on YouTube. I hear he tunes into every single game now that he knows that the St. Croix Central Panther Sports are right here live for him to watch. Okay, they signal first down and we're off and running here. Pilatek under center. And it'll be a run up the middle. Actually, Pilatek keeps it. Arm tackle ran right through and another first down or close to the first down for the Spartans. And the sticks will move, first down. Rain kind of letting up here. Just kind of a gentle mist falling that I don't really know because I'm here in the booth and I'm not sitting outside where it's uh, falling. One receiver at the bottom. Couple running backs set behind the quarterback, Pilatish. He'll keep it himself and sprint right up the middle and he will be brought down by Kopaz. Trevor Kopaz. And another first down for the Spartans. They're driving down the field nicely to start off their first possession of the game. Pilatek under center. He'll keep it. Another missed tackle, and he's loose on that far side, and Trevor Kopaz again on the tackle, and his fellow Panthers come to his aid, and they'll stop him about, my guess, the 12-yard line. Tough to see exactly where from where I'm standing. Panthers' defense will need to hold tough now. It looks like the 13-yard line. Spartan set up. We got one receiver at the bottom. And the handoff up the middle. And right there, Jack Peterson running over a Panther and scoring a touchdown for the Spartans. Spartans line up for their extra point. That's Dylan Sayers awaiting the kick. High snap, but the kick is up, and it's good. So 7-7, seven to seven, the score 6-12 left in the half. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight, and we'll be right back. And look at that. Already broke 200 people currently watching us live, and I'm sure we got multiple, pe multiple people watching on the screen. So thank you, everybody listening to us on YouTube. I'll be right back in just a minute.
Sayers for the Spartans getting ready to kick it off here after their touchdown run from Jack Peterson. Great kick. Fielded by Kopaz. And he'll run into the pile and be brought down at about the 27 yard line. Panthers and Spartans trading touchdowns, both on runs, which is really no surprise. Steinmetz will be the receiver at the top of the screen. Kopaz will take the snap, and he will hand the ball off. That'll be Berg, I believe. Yes, Berg on the run, he'll gain two yards. <coughs> Larson the fullback, Berg the halfbacks, that Steinmetz split off to the top. Larson, I believe, on the carry. And they are signaling Somerset ball on the fumble. It looked like a weird kind of handoff between Larson and uh, Kopaz, and I didn't see it in over my right shoulder. I hear a Spartan coach yell, it's our ball. And they were right. So first and 10 on the 30 for the Spartans. Peterson, the halfback. You can already see he's getting pretty dirty in that white jersey. He'll attack back to pass. He'll come back this direction, and he'll have his receiver open, but way overthrown as they were going for that front corner of the end zone right off the bat. Second and ten. Okay, the receiver at the top of the screen, Ortega. Pilatek takes a snap. He'll keep it, pitch it out. Not there on the edge, but he will be brought down by Ryan Larson after a gain of seven. Third and three. They take the snap, fake handoff, but right there for the takedown. Nate Barons stopping him on third down. He stayed home, that gap opened up, and he was right there for the tackle. Fourth down. Somerset will keep their offense right there on the field. They take the snap, whistles blow before, and they're gonna say false start, they'll back them up five. And we'll see what the decision is right now from head coach Bruce Larson. This will now be fourth down and eight. Couple subs coming on now, so we'll see how they set up. Clock starts back up. Receiver at the bottom, Ryan Kelly. 
back to pass. And tackle made, Peyton Nogle, big loss right there for the Spartans. Turnover on downs, Panther ball. 220 viewers, like I said, let's get this stream out there, let's get up to 250, currently watching right now. Put it out on Facebook, tweet it out. What are you talking about, Davis? I don't care anymore. First and 10 Panthers. Steinmetz and Berg, the halfback. That's Larson in at fullback. Larson, nope. Pitch comes out, Berg. Berg looks to cut back upfield, cuts back to this near side, and three Spartans bring him down. Tackle first initiated by guy standing in the way. That's Peterson. Second and five. Panthers not much of a throwing team either, much like the Spartans. Spartans have already tried a couple times. Berg on the handoff, he gets held up behind the line of scrimmage, but he'll gain about a yard. Third down and four for the Panthers. <coughs> Be sure to stay tuned when halftime comes around. We still got another quarter to play before halftime, but got the St. Croix Central dance team performing tonight. They always put on a good show. Kopaz will quickly work his way to that far sideline and he'll be tripped up after a short gain. It'll be a fourth down and we'll wait till I see the other marker. It'll be close, maybe a yard or yard and a half. Let's say fourth down and a yard and a half. They bring the punt team onto the field. Somerset giving the Panthers their closest game of the year in that season finale matchup that ended 42-24. A lot closer right now here in Hammond. Low snap picked up. Meyer boots it away. Kind of a short wobbly kick. And it'll go out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Make sure that every single one of you subscribe to our St. Croix Central School District page. 233 of you watching, and I guarantee not every one of you has subscribed, especially I know we got some Spartan fans, and the least you can do for watching this free broadcast is to subscribe to St. Croix Central School District. Pilatek keeps the ball, and he will be wrapped up. I believe that's uh, Hinsman on the tackle, but a good gain right off the bat. Gain of seven, second and three. Hinsman, the lone freshman on the Panther team, seeing lots of playing time in his nose tackle position. Pitcher the receiver at the bottom. Pilatich keeps the ball, and he is tackled in the backfield. Maybe getting back to the line of scrimmage. Nogle on the tackle, I believe. Third and three. Panthers able to stop him on third and fourth down on their last possession. There we go, Kevin Roots. Th or so thank you for your... Subscription to Panther YouTube channel, the Panther YouTube channel. Third down, Pilatich keeps it, and he'll get the first down as he spins through a tackler. And another Somerset first down.
And right there is the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back here as we switch sides of the field. But a big thank you to Marco Septic, Citizen State Bank, Western Wisconsin Health, and Flagship Ford for being our anchor sponsors for Panther Athletics. We'll be right back in a little bit. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. Thank you for listening to us live on YouTube. Okay, welcome back. First and ten for the Spartans. They are on the their own 42-yard line. Peterson, I believe, gets the handoff. Panthers taking their sweet old time making the tackle. He gains five. That was actually a keeper by Pilatich. One receiver at the top for the Spartans, otherwise just a kind of straight line, horizontal line. Pilatich keeps it, and then he is met at the line of scrimmage. Gains half a yard. Tackle made, Ryan Larson. Third and five. Spartans able to get their last third down. That one was third and three. Panther fans getting loud here. Pilatic, Pilatek, excuse me. Will keep it himself and he will have, he pitches it to the side and Nogal makes the tackle from behind a big Run right there, tackle made at about the 32-yard line, and another Spartan first down. Neither school in session today. And so far, it looks like the Panthers may be a little slow to get going. Pilatich keeps himself, self follows his blocker. Tackle made, Peyton Nogle. Coach John Tackman trying to get his defense to stand tough here. They really haven't been pushed around like this yet this season. Handoff. Falls forward for a short gain was Peterson. Hey, we're up to 250 viewers right now watching us right now. I love it. That's our record for the season. Playoff football will bring that out. Pilatich under center. Takes a snap, keeps it. He follows his blocker, and he will go nowhere. Barons, Henriksen, and 
Who else is that right there? Woodington as well in on that tackle. Fourth down and four. Offense stays out there. Panthers stopped him on the last fourth down play. Spartans looked to pass. They sniffed it out. Fourth and four, Panther crowd getting loud. Hand off Peterson, and he will get nothing. Barons gets there first, and you can see him celebrating right there. Big stop, turnover on downs. Now it's time for the Panther offense to show what they can do like they did on the first drive. First and 10 for the Panthers on their 29-yard line. Kopaz will pitch it out to this side, Berg. Berg with some running room. He's got to get going upfield, though. And he will gain about five yards in that first run. Kind of took him a while to get going upfield. May have cost him a couple yards there. Second and five, Panthers break the huddle. Kopaz will get under center with Larson, Steinmetz, and Berg behind him. Kopaz will pitch it out to Berg. Berg starts to move upfield and will be brought down right at about the first down. And based on where the ref is coming in on the far side, I'm going to go out on a limb and say first down, and that's what the signal shows. And another first down for the Panthers. First one of this drive, but... Quite a few in the game so far. You know what, new goal now. We made 250, let's get to 300 people watching right now. I think we can do it. We're not even to halftime yet. And this is a great game that we got going on here in Hammond, Wisconsin. Kopaz will pull it back, break through the hole. Gets to the second level and brought down right on the 50 yard line. Austin Kopaz, great read on following the Lead block of Ryan Larson. Send that link out, email it to Grandma down in Florida. I'm sure she would love to watch this great game here tonight. It's costumes versus blaze orange in the two student section, Somerset wearing the blaze orange. Topaz will pitch it out. Berg, Berg needing to cut up. Not much going right there, he'll lose half a yard. Again, we try to bring you the best broadcast possible, but if you do have any problems, please let me know in the comment section. If we lose the feed, get back to that school district uh, YouTube page and refresh, uh, and we'll hopefully get it back running pretty soon. You never know when you're gonna have problems especially we're using a uh, Verizon Wi-Fi hotspot. As there's no internet in the football booth, it's treated us well so far, but you just never know. Steinmetz the receiver at the bottom of the screen, Larson behind Kopaz, and Berg behind him. Kopaz will pass the ball, looking for a wide open Meyer over the shoulder catch. He'll be brought down at the 20 yard line. Big play right there. Tackle from the Spartans was Spencer Stint. Nice, beautiful over the shoulder catch. This is what I like about my YouTube stream being about 30 seconds behind what you're watching at home is now I get a chance to watch it right here. That was a planned pass from the get-go and that was a beauty. Run up the middle, sorry I almost, well kind of did miss it right there. Like I said, I was watching back that play between Austin Kopaz and Derek Meyer.
Panthers, they pass when they need to. Holm, the receiver at the top. Bloom, the tight end. That's Steinmetz set off as the wing on the bottom of your screen. Kopaz, pitch goes out, Larson. Larson tripped up in the backfield. And he'll gain about a yard. Third and nine. Larson does have a good leg behind him, and that's who they'll probably use to kick a field goal from here if they need to. One receiver to the top. Bird goes in motion. They get him to jump off sides, making this third down play a little bit easier. Nice hard count, Austin Kopaz. With that penalty yardage, it'll be third down and three, a long three. Two seventy-one, and we're creeping up there. Like I said, three hundreds our goal. Kopaz hands it off to Berg. Berg is met at the line of scrimmage and. He'll be stopped on fourth down. So decision time. Panthers have yet to kick a field goal yet this season. Why, when you uh, have been dominating your opponents this entire time? And Ryan Berg sending in the play to Austin Kopaz. They'll keep the offense out. Fourth and two. I'll zoom out a little bit, try to catch everything for you. Everybody in tight for the Panthers. Berg goes in motion. Kopaz back to pass. He's looking to get to the outside. Catch made! I'm gonna guess that was Steinmetz on that far side. I couldn't really see a number on my screen. Big catch, I still, it was either Steinmetz or Holm. Uh, one of the fans turned around and was talking to me, and I missed the number as they were coming off the field. First down and four, first down and goal on the four. This is Larson's territory here, but it will go out to Berg on the far side. Berg gets tracked down quickly, and he'll lose yardage. It was a big hit. He pops right back up, walks back to the huddle. Second and six is my guess. I, like I said, I don't have the best perspective from here, and there it is up on the scoreboard, so not bad of a guess on my part. <laughs> Panthers break the huddle. Second down and goal on the seven. And there's a timeout, Panthers. They'll talk it over. It'll be second down and goal when we come back. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. In this little break, we got 20 more viewers to get to 300. Let's get there before half. We'll be right back in just a minute. Okay, Kopaz under center. He will hand it off Larson. Larson keeps on trying to push forward. He'll get back to about the original line of scrimmage. Third down and uh, three. Third 
Panthers quickly break the huddle. Berg goes in motion. Hand off Larson. Larson trudges forward. Wait the signal. They're going to say down just short. But with that near side referee walking on the goal line, it can't be by much. Fourth down and goal on the one yard line. They're going to go for it. Panther fans need to quiet down a little bit here. Kopaz hands it off Larson. Larson falls forward for a touchdown. Ryan Larson, second one of the game. Touchdown, Panthers, 120 left in the half. Extra point now upcoming from Pettit. Snap, kick, and it's good. <laughs> like I said, I might get fired at some point here. We'll see. <laughs> I might get fired for what I do on the scoreboard there. We'll see. Okay, welcome back. The Panther team getting ready to kick off the ball. And again, another big shout out to Andy in Portland, Oregon, watching Logan play tonight, as well as Roy and uh, I think it says Ellen. Can't read uh, Napton's chicken scratch right now. And he will walk out of bounds on the kickoff. He had it. Grabbed it, stepped out of bounds at the nine yard line. Spartans will have a long way to go before half. <laughs> I'm glad you guys could at least see the Cooley growl. I don't know if you heard it as well, but that's what I mean. I don't know if uh, Cooley's gonna let me work the scoreboard too much longer. Not that I'm gonna complain because I got enough going on here with the uh, two cameras, a scoreboard, and my streaming computer, as well as uh, <laughs> the text that I'm getting, including my wife saying what is going on on that scoreboard. So 14 to 7, 116 left here. Spartans run on that outside. Gain of eight was, I'm going to guess it was Pilatich by the way they were running. It was tackle made by Kopaz. Clock running, now under a minute. Supposed to be neutral on the scoreboard. I've kind of been bending those rules lately at the football games. Volleyball as well. Just gets a, gets a little boring when you can't throw anything up there. But I figure as long as I say I'm going to celebrate both teams' touchdowns, they can't uh, get too upset. Because I did put a touchdown signal up. Uh, run up the middle, struggling to be brought. Oh. Sure looked like it was up, <laughs> sure looked like their run was going up the middle. Uh, but Panthers uh, give up the first down on that short run. Uh, and I did, I put, I put the touchdown signal up for uh, the Spartans when they got their points. So, you know, doing everything I can up here, but it gets a little boring when it's just that simple uh, Panther logo sitting up there the entire time. 17 seconds now. Handoff up the middle, and the Spartans will be content after that play to go into half. Be sure to stay tuned for the half at halftime for the dance team out on the field. I'll stick the uh, headset out there so you can hear the 
music playing as well, and they'll go into halftime, 14 to seven the score. I'm Brian Millar here with you, and we hope that all 287 of you rejoin us after half. And, and you know what, I wouldn't complain if we had a little bit more out there. Again, stay tuned for the halftime performance from the St. Croix Central Dance Team.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this broadcast of St. Croix Central Panther football. Panthers leading 14-7 to here in this matchup between the Somerset Spartans and the St. Croix Central Panthers. Ryan Larson will kick it away, and <laughs> no chance at a return for that one. <coughs> Again, almost up to 290 people already at our record. Let's get to 300 before the night is done. It is a great game right here between the Somerset Spartans and the St. Croix Central Panthers. Let's get it to 300. Share it out. And definitely subscribe to our school district's YouTube page. So the Somerset Spartans will take their first snap of the second half from their 20-yard line. Billy Titch under center. He'll pitch it out to the far side. And gaining pretty good yardage. I'm going to guess eight. Second and one. One receiver at the bottom of your screen. Run up the middle, snuffed out by the Panthers. No gain. That was Peterson on the carry. Third and one, Panther fans getting loud. One receiver at the bottom. Expect the ball to go to um, Peterson. No, Pilatich keeps it himself and he's tracked down sh near the first down. I'm gonna say just short. That's me hoping and they're gonna move the sticks. First down, Spartans. First and 10, ball at the 30-yard line. Pilatic pitches it to this near side. That's Peterson. Larson coming in to make the tackle. Gain a one. Back to pass, lofted downfield. Little hand checking between Trevor Kopaz and the intended receiver, Roy Hale. Nothing called, either way. Just saw the replay on my screen, and yeah, I agree, no, foul, no flag should have been thrown for either player there. Third down and nine. It's Peterson on the handoff. No, going on that far side, but won't matter anyway. Brought down after a gain of three, maybe four. Fourth down and five for the Spartans. Thank you. 
And the punt team, team comes on. Austin Kopez will go back to receive. Good snap, kick is away. Kopez will let it bounce. And they'll start their drive at the 30 yard line. Shout out to all of our sponsors and flagship Florida Baldwin, Citizen State Bank, Marco Septic, and Western Wisconsin Health. Baldwin Lightstream, McDonald's Courtesy Corporation, Buffalo Wild Wings, Burnick's Pepsi, Premium Waters Incorporated, Williamson and Siler Attorneys at Law, J. Counter, Pheasant Hills Golf Course, Snap Fitness, Squeegee Squad, and McKinstry. Kopaz will hand the ball off. I believe that was Berg. Won't get much. Gets one. Turn up my mic. Yes. Let me see what I can do for you. Hopefully that's a little bit better. If not, let me know and I can mess around with it a little bit more. I may have moved the mic away from my mouth at some point too. So hopefully that helps and some of you might have to turn your volume down now. Or mute it, I understand. Second and nine, Kolpaz will pitch it out and get nowhere and actually losing five yards. Not much they could have done right there. Hey, and we're over 300 viewers right now, 303. I love seeing that three to start it off. Okay, that'll make third down and 12 right now. Steinmetz will be the receiver at the top. Bloom in it, tight end. Kopez gets out of it, block set, throws downfield, wide open! Into the end zone, looking back, nobody there, Derek Meyer left all alone. Kopaz not tackled in, uh, for a sack, and that is a big touchdown for the Panthers. Jackson Pettit coming in to kick. And it is up and it is good. Feel free to, I'm gonna do it right now as we get ready for kickoff. Go back and the beauty of YouTube is you can rewind. So we'll take a quick break as we, as we uh, get ready to kick off. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. Thanks for listening to us live on YouTube. First passing touchdown of the season for your Panthers. And what a great time to have it. Picked up at about the two yard line, starting to bring it upfield. Might as well just left it as they get right back to the 20 yard line. Uh, maybe short of the 20 yard line as I was looking at the one ref and they're gonna be quite a bit short of that 20. 
Spartan Drive will start at the 15. I was watching the wrong referee. Like I said, first passing touchdown of the season, the Panthers, and it was a big one. Austin Kopaz nearly sacked early on in the play, able to escape and find a, I mean, wide open Derek Meyer. Oh, sorry about that. Run up the middle, brought down after a gain of two. Two receivers at the bottom for the Spartans, they are Kelly and Hale. Pitch comes to that outside. Panther defense gets it right away. Tackle made. Carson Hinsman, the big freshman nose guard. Third and eight for the Spartans. Tight end with a wing off to the near side. Play goes to the far side. Working his way upfield, Berg and a couple other Panthers there and it'll be very close to a first down and I think they're gonna give it to him. And they will. First down Spartans. Temperatures really have dropped here. My fingers are starting to get cold. Probably shouldn't have said that now that I think about it as my wife's probably watching and she told me to grab a pair of gloves. And I said I did, but I didn't. Again, two receivers to the bottom. Pitch to the near side, Peterson. Going nowhere, Nate Barons. First Panther there. Nogal in there as well. Again, all 313 of you currently watching right now, subscribe to our St. Croix Central YouTube page. Be updated with all of our wonderful athletics and all the amazing things that are going on in this school district that get posted to our YouTube channel. Please do that right now. You're watching a free broadcast. We'd really appreciate it. Even if you are a Somerset Spartan, no one will know if you uh, like our page. Larson and Nogle in there on the tackle. Gain of one. Well, you might be right, uh, Larray. I don't. I couldn't remember, and I went and I asked the people right next to me, um, and they said they thought it was a uh, the first one. So you may be right. I have my statue. I'll try to check it after this play. Pitch to the far side, Peterson. Peterson breaking tackles, moving up field. And Kopaz and Berg able to push him out of bounds. So let's see here. With the Thunder Country not being able to get their broadcast up and running, I have a ton of stat sheets right here. I just got to figure out what I'm looking at. First and 10 for the Spartans. Fake pitch, Pilatech keeps it. Going nowhere, gains half a yard. Carson Hinsman getting the tackle.
Whistles blow, time out, Spartans. We'll be right back in just a little bit. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. Still trying to check on that uh, touchdowns for the Panthers this season, passing touchdowns. Thanks for listening to us on YouTube. Welcome back, and if I'm looking at this stuff right, uh, Larray, I think I think you are correct that there were a couple uh, passing touchdowns earlier, so thanks for catching that. Pilatech fakes the pitch. Larson gets in there right away for the stop. Gains one and a half yards does Pilatech. And it sounds like Northwestern is kind of uh, beating up on Baldwin Woodville right now. So the that is who the winner of this game will most likely play. Third down and seven. One receiver to the bottom. Pilatich under center. He'll keep it himself. He'll slip. And he will lose yardage. I saw Hinsman's jersey. I saw Nogle. Lots of Panthers in there for the stop. Spartans will punt. Kolpaz back to receive. Let me zoom out for you. And take a bite of my Twix right before a play. That's called professionalism. The kick is away. Kolpaz waves away the Panthers. And it will come to rest at about the 18-yard line for the Panthers. We'll be back in just a little bit. A big thank you to our major sponsors and Marco Septic. Citizen State Bank, Western Wisconsin Health and Flagship, Florida Baldwin, as well to all 325 of you listening to us at home. Kimberly just got your text and I was laughing to the guys right next door that um, what that comment was in reference to about me not believing you was they said that, you know, they thought that you were coming in here to announce with me tonight and, you know, I don't see you see anywhere around here. Must have been too cold for you. Pitch goes to Berg. I believe I didn't quite catch the number. Yes, it is Berg. He'll gain one. That'll bring up third down. Missed the first down play as I was laughing to the guys next door. And, you know, Kimberly might have some competition because I did just get an email from uh, Savi and Jordan saying that they want to stop on up here and do some broadcasting as well. I don't, don't know if they're listening or if they're at the game, but Kopaz in a little bit of trouble throwing it downfield and on a play. That'll bring up fourth down for the Panthers and most likely a punt. There's a punt team.
I was right. Too cold. Wearing your PJs. I, I hope you that you don't mind that I'm just sharing everything that you're texting me right now. My wife loves it when I do that too, especially uh volleyball game last year when our dog was running around outside with half of a rabbit and I was given a you know a little play by play as that was going on and she wasn't the happiest about that one and no idea if she's listening to me right now, but we'll see if I get a text about that one too. <laughs> punt is away, good punt. Fielded by number 38 as he moves up field, finds a little bit of space. And in there making the tackle is Mason Dato. And the Somerset Spartans will start in Panther territory. Great field position with 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Pilotich keeps it. No, nope. he'll uh, run up the middle. Gets stopped after a gain of one. That was Peterson on the carry. I kind of like the idea of a common, uh, commentary competition, Logan. I'd be worried that people would find out how much better everybody else is than me and I'd be out of a job, though. There's always that risk. And we will enter the fourth quarter of play, 21 to seven the score. Big thank you to everybody listening to us live on YouTube. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight and we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, first snap of the fourth quarter, ball on the ground, picked up by the Panthers. That is number 65, Josh Woodington, hopping on that one. Not the play that you draw up going into uh, the fourth quarter, but Works in the Panthers' favor. They'll start their drive at their own 45-yard line. Big turnover to start the fourth quarter for those of you just coming back from the bathroom. Kopaz gets tripped up. He'll look to pass. Lofts it downfield as he gets hit. Almost intercepted. Got knocked away at the very end by Derek Meyer. Got his hands in there and luckily punches it out from Jack Peterson. He had it dead to rights. Okay, I'm, gl I'm glad that my play-by-play -play is safe. Just the color commentary for the uh, competition. Kopaz under center, Larson and Berg behind Steinmetz set off to the left. Kopaz will pitch it out to Berg. 
He'll step upfield, and he will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Tackle made. Number 57, Corey Rose. Don't know if that's accurate as... Or is that 60? Hard to read some of the numbers. I'm going to guess that was 67, not 57. Mason Cook. Getting hard to read some of the numbers of the Spartans. Those white jerseys are now caked in brown, especially that of number 24, Jack Peterson. Kopaz back to pass again. That one's lofted down. Catch made. Steinmetz. Steinmetz turning away from his defender. I don't think the defender even know that knew that the ball was in the air. Starts running away from him. Big run there. Mike Steinmetz with the connection from Austin Kopaz. Thirty yards separate the Panthers from the end zone. And they'll look to close in on it here as the Panther. And the Spartan student section looks to see who has more spirit. Berg breaking free, <laughs> throwing the ball up in the air and still out. And I think the Spartans pick it up and completely unforced fumble. And I believe it goes the Spartans direction. We'll see what the signal is here. And they say Spartan football. Big unforced turnover there. Keegan Berg struggling to hold on to it. Yeah, I, I don't know if he was carrying it and it hit his hip or what, but that ball popped straight into the air. New life for the Spartans as they are now on the 12 yard line and looking to make a long drive downfield. Of course, I'm glad I could do the live stream for you guys. I enjoy being up here, calling the game. Pilotic back to pass, deep throw, downfield, intercepted. Trevor Kopaz right at midfield. That's what was needed by the Panthers. Like I said earlier, I do like that the YouTube stream is delayed because now, now it's playing again for me right here. Pressure put on by Henriksen on the edge. And yeah, Kopaz just had way better position over the intended receiver, number 15, Roy Hale. Panthers starting their drive midfield. Berg still in there at halfback. He fumbled earlier at the 12-yard line. He'll get the ball right there, needing to prove himself. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, not much more. It's getting to be a bit of a clock management game now. Panthers will want to keep it rolling through the rest of the last 10 minutes of the game. Second and 10, Kopaz will hand the ball up to Berg again. Berg, open room on this side. He gets brought down, I think number 13. Pilotic, Pilotek. Been saying his name different the entire game. He'll gain nine, third down and one. Ryan Larson territory right here. Berg's been getting the ball a lot lately though. Luke Holm, the receiver at the bottom of your screen. And Kopez will hand the ball off. Larson. Larson twisted up and brought down after a Panther. First down. Uh, the score is 21-7, uh, Panthers lead. Not, you must just be listening. I got the score up there in that upper right-hand corner for you. I know it's kind of hard to read. It's zoomed in as far as I can get, but 21-7, Panthers lead.
Kopez letting the cr clock run down to 8.45 now. Kopez will hand off Larson. Larson gets hit behind the line of scrimmage, falls forward, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Or upper right, did I say upper left? Upper right corner. Kopez hands off Steinmetz. He's tripped up and he'll fall forward, gaining one. Meyer, the receiver at the to top, Steinmetz in at wing, and that's Larson and Berg right there. Berger get the handoff, he'll follow Larson. And he will get brought down after a short gain. It'll be fourth down and five. Panthers will most likely go for it here. Larson's got a leg but this would be a monster boot. Home the receiver at the bottom, Berg goes in motion. Kopez turns and looks to see if he goes with the hard count. Got him with it earlier. There's a snap, Kopez pulls it back out, pitches it out to Berg. And he will get a yard on that one, turnover on downs. Spartans take back over with 6.38 left in the game. Awesome. Thank you, Chase, for sharing that with me. I did see your email today. No school today for either the Panthers or the Spartans. And actually, all the teachers were up in Somerset for a uh, big professional development session up there. So all of us getting along before the big game. Handoff goes and a slew of Panthers in there to make the stop after a gain of four. Second and six, Pilatich hands it off. No, he keeps it himself and probably should have handed it off. Tackle made by the Panthers. That was Josh Woodington. There to make the stop, loss of two. Third down and seven. Looks more like eight now. Panther faithful getting loud. Pitch goes to the far side. Larson trying to get out there. He'll chase him down. He'll miss the tackle. First down, Spartans. I understand. Millar, Miller, I'm used to it, don't worry. 521 left. In the game, 330 people currently tuning in on YouTube. Spartans driving downfield. They're at the 40-yard line. There's a snap, back to pass, pressure put on. Going downfield and way overshoots the intended receiver, number 36, Nick Bushinger. Oh, 
I went way too far. Moving the camera while I was looking down at my roster. Second and 10. Pilatich will keep it, he'll have a decision to make. He decides to pitch it, and there to make the tackle, Austin Kopaz, help coming in from Mike Steinmetz. Short gain, maybe half a yard. Third and nine. Pitch to the far side. Panthers push that line of scrimmage that way. Nothing going. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's it, and that'll bring up fourth down. And Somerset's gonna have to go for it here with four minutes on the clock. The St. Croix Central Panthers are winning right now, 21 to seven to answer that question, 348 on the clock. Fourth down, they need to get 10 yards to the Spartans. Panther crowd really loud, back to pass. Pressure put on, ball lofted downfield, intercepted, Austin Kopaz. 333 on the clock, Spartans needed that one, they will not get it. Austin Kopaz turns around, gets his arms up in the air and brings it down. Shout out to Thomas Millar, my dad, commenting right there, watching in a hospital in, hospital in Madison. Bad car accident earlier in this, uh, last week, I, last week now, and recovering down in Madison. 340 people currently watching the St. Croix Central Panthers winning this matchup. Short run of two yards, Berg. Yeah, I, I, I looked at all the stat sheets that we had. <laughs> there was a third touchdown from Meyer. Uh, getting the scores to the left of me, getting text messages, looking for that correction, so. Steinmetz going the other way, and it fooled the Somerset Spartans. One guy to beat on the far side. Mike Steinmetz, the 20, the 15 is where he is, pushed out of bounds. Big run there from Mike. Steinmetz. Shout out to the cross country team competing at state tomorrow. Boys cross country team as well as Marie Hamlin and Maya Kaiser. Competing at state. Wisconsin Rapids, I believe. Second and eight for the Panthers. <laughs> Austin Kopaz will hand it off Berg. He'll get stopped at the line of scrimmage. He'll fall forward, gains one. Scoring update, 35 to six Northwestern in the third quarter. That is who the winner of this game and looking like it'll be the Panthers will play and that'll be right back here at St. Croix Central. That'll be a fun game to watch. Northwestern felt like they should have the number one seed going into this playoff. Central got it and it'll be quite a battle right here next week. 
123, Panther student section moving down to greet their team. Steinmetz gets the ball, he'll go into the pile. Gain one. That'll bring up fourth down. Clock still running. Good job, Hook. Panther offense stays it on the field, fourth down. Kopaz will hand it off Berg. Berg goes forward, and it'll be close to a first down, but I'm going to go with one yard short. Turnover on downs. Clock will stop with 33 seconds. Like I said, we'll be right back here next week taking on, taking on Northwestern. If you can't get here, we'll hopefully be able to bring it to you right here again on YouTube. Good luck to the cross country team competing at state tomorrow. Great seasons from both the boys and the girls cross country. And handoff up the middle, Peterson met at the line of scrimmage. They'll run most likely one more play here before the end of the game. Ball on the ground, Pilatich picks it up. Henriksen on the sack as time expires. Your St. Croix Central Panthers move on in the playoffs. Round three right back here next week Friday, 7 p.m. You can watch it right here on YouTube as well. Panthers win 21 to seven. And again, their closest game of the season to Somerset. Panthers end up on top. We'll be right back here next week. I'm Brian Millar here with you tonight. Thanks for watching us. Good night. Go Panthers. Good luck cross country team tomorrow night. Tomorrow during the day, excuse me.